Hi, I'm Christina Hess. I'm a licensed dietitian nutritionist. And today I want to break down energy expenditure and how many calories might you burn. And this is very bio-individual. But if you were going to draw a pie chart and draw and pretend it's a clock, draw a line to 12 o'clock and 7, all this area in here is what you would consider BMR or basal metabolic rate. Okay, this is what it costs the body to keep the lights on and run your organ systems and just, you know, without catabolizing uh, all your, your muscle tissue and, and having a lot of breakdown. So basal metabolic rate meets basic energy needs. If you were lying in a hospital bed for 24 hours watching TV, this is how many calories you would burn without um, breaking things down and starving. Okay, so from BMR, we're going to draw a line to say, let's call it 11 o'clock. And this, we're going to label TEF, which stands for the thermic effect of food. So it does cost the body some energy to digest your food. And the highest thermic effect is protein. So it's believed that about 100 calories of protein is, say, the equivalent really 70 to 80 calories because it costs the body some energy to digest that protein. So that's great. Okay, now if we line, if we draw a line to 10 p.m. or 10 o'clock, and we label this, we're gonna label it eat which stands for exercise activity thermogenesis. So this is how many calories you burn exercising. All right, so not a lot, unfortunately, unless you're, say, a athlete, you know, working out all day or whatever. So we expend some energy here, and it's important exercise for many other health reasons other than uh, weight loss, it's not the best way to lose weight is to try to exercise your way there. Um, some will say that's actually impossible. And the rest, we are labeling NEAT, which is non-exercise activity thermogenesis. So what is non-exercise? It would be steps like walking the dog, going, you know, buy your groceries, parking farther away, walking up and down the stairs, gardening outside, just basic activity and movement. Now you can see how big a piece of the pie this is plus your, just your basal metabolic rate. And if you have more muscle mass, your basal metabolic rate increases. So while you don't expend a lot of energy strength training, if you build more muscle mass, you have a better basal metabolic rate. And if you get your step count up, now you're expending more energy without working harder. You don't have to go kill yourself running on a treadmill, um, doing Orange Theory and crazy classes that don't necessarily really change, um, change everything. I'm not saying don't do those things. If you love it, do it. It's better than nothing. But... Um, calculating all this is really personal to you and how much you move. I was very, um, shocked to learn, uh, a couple of years ago that a person who goes to the gym regularly, let's say five days a week, Monday through Friday, goes to the gym in the morning for an hour, but then sits all day at an office. And this describes me perfectly. Um, burns more on a weekend where this person is outside, living life, 
going for walks, running errands, didn't go to the gym, but didn't sit at a desk at their computer. So, and this is why, because neat non-exercise activity accounts for way more energy expenditure than even your exercise. Again, exercise is super important for other metabolic health reasons and definitely do it. But as far as total energy expenditure, there's also one other interesting topic. I'm not an expert in this, but there's also um, an energy compensation that happens when we exercise, especially if we do something very intense. The likelihood that our meat will go down and decrease is much higher because let's say you go beat yourself up at the gym the likelihood is higher that then you'll be relaxing on the couch trying to recover from that very intense bout of activity. And so our need just plummets when we try to do very, very intense exercise. Again, do the intense exercise, things like sprint interval training and high intensity training work, super important, but going to beat yourself up every day is also not recommended because this will decrease. And your body is smart and it kind of does it subconsciously and automatically without you really thinking about it. So if you have any questions about this, hit me up in the comments and let me know what you think.